Let's take a look at card number 13. Okay. Control Agent 2. Right? We'll take a look at the art and then we'll take a look at 544. I'm assuming that would be Avenue and Camp Street. Right? So this is Control Agent number 2. And we saw control agent number one in the first 12. Look at the road in the background there. Eh? Zigzag. So many turns in the in the path they chose, right? Crazy. Beautiful same as the revised version but let's take a look at the text this is card number 13 guy banister and it looks like the text has changed a little bit okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna read the revised version gang do we agree I have uh, since we're live streaming this I have the chat going on right now I just want to make sure everyone agrees that we should read the revised version because it's two years later after Oliver Stone put out the information let's see is there a lot of difference on it yeah the paragraphs oh wait a second it doesn't look like the paragraph changed it just decided to break it differently you take a look at this one it says distribution in latin america take a look at this one distribution in latin america and then was the sentence there was oswald really pro castro or was he an agent provocateur and that's where the paragraph starts right and then they broke the paragraph here guy banister and then they start there guy banister it ends with cuba committee ends with cuba committee so we can read the original version of this okay let's read the original version okay. card number 13 guy banister in april 1963 oswald began a bewildering five-month stay in the city of his youth new orleans there he started and was the, uh, started and was the only member of a chapter of the pro castro fair play for cuba committee fpcc and began passing out leaflet leaflets at various locations in on august 9th he was arrested after street scuffle with an anti-castro activist Carlos Bring Bringwire. A week later, Oswald and Bringwire were joined in a radio debate by Ed Butler, director of the CIA backed Information Council of the Americas. Butler exposed Oswald's Sylvia, uh, Sylvia defection, exposed as in quotes, defection, smeared the FPCC as a Kremlin front and made a quote truth tape end quote of the debate for distribution in latin america was oswald really pro castro or was he an agent provocateur one clue is the address stamped on the back of some of the some of oswald's fpcc material 544 camp street camp street other tenants recall oswald working in an office on the second floor not only was this the former headquarters of the cuban revolutionary council a cia created government in exile which with which bringwire was involved it was the address of guy banister associates a private detective agency fronting for the cia's anti-castro activists in new orleans guy banister former head of the fbi's chicago office 
with ties to naval intelligence dating back to World War II, was a member of the John Birch Society and the Parliamentary Minutemen, paramil paramilitary Minutemen, and published racist materials. Although his files were confiscated shortly after his 1964 death, index cards were found revealing that the subjects of the files included ammunitions, ammunition and arms, the CIA, anti-Soviet underground, the ci civil rights program of Kennedy, the International Trade Mart, and the Fair Play for Cuba Committee. It was just a farce it was just a play right it was all set up control agent number two and his name was guy bannister very cool very cool